Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Troy. Brock, what drilling method can I use to use the least amount of water? It's a great question. The background behind me for this week is the Atagama Desert. And we worked on a project there where they were trucking water in from the Pacific Ocean. And it was four hours one way. And we needed to come up with a zero discharge solution for wireline coring. You know, it's going to depend on where we are in the world, what drilling methods we have available. We've got plenty that use a lot less water from augers to a post hole digger to driving casing, cable tool, air, you know, air hammer. It's going to be the consistency of the ground and the conditions, the rotational torque I have in my rig. In reality, we always are going to need some sort of fluid to help with slurry, to help with cooling, uh, not so much lubrication. It's not doing a great job for that. And we can see that on some directional rigs and uh, drilling projects where drillers drill with the least amount of water possible. And we can see how scoured and scorched those drill rods are and how the bit looks at the end of the job. So we're going to have that. And, you know, there's sonic out there and there's caisson equipment and there's dual tube and there's plenty of ways to drill with less water. But the reality is we need to know where in the world we want to drill. I've had great success with foam drilling in water scarce areas to be able to get our test well in so that we have enough water to be able to continue with reverse or being able to continue deeper with uh, making foam and so we have those options but first we got to determine what our rig capabilities and limitations are and how much water i have available and then we can build a drilling program around that and uh, you know i worked a project in uh, republic washington that had water limitations they had plenty of water but the mine had limitations to the amount of water they could use in one drilling season so we got very good at zero discharge of being able to flocculate out the solids and releasing that free water turning it into it's not really free water it's an effluent remixing a drilling fluid that we needed with that and continuing and we can get really good at zero discharge and it's going to help with our disposal costs and you know solids control alone is going to change us from you know two and a half times the whole volume to one and a half to two times with a good mechanical solids control unit that can keep those solids out and being able to retain that but again in uh, drought conditions or water scarce areas we have lots of fractures and voids right and uh, we're going to have some good, hard, competent formations to go through. And maybe that's where the downhole hammer comes in. Um, there's plenty of different variables there. We need to know more. And then we can build the drilling program and plan around it to use the right amount of water or the least amount of water possible so that we can be successful and get, if it's a water well that we're looking for, get that good water well so that we can then move on to doing a production well it's a great question but we need more information shoot me another text i'd really love to know where you're thinking about drilling and what the plan is and what equipment you have and what plan we can come up with your equipment you have the available piece of equipment is the best equipment for the job most of the time but if we're going to get into something that we really need to have good plan and execution we got to look at all the variables and see how we can augment that system to be successful 